video. Quickly before this video gets started, I just wanted to thank AOEAH for sponsoring this video. Uh, with AOEAH, you can buy and sell items, and you can now save 6% using code COMIC in the item shop. Go check them out in the link in the description below. Yo, how's it going, everybody? Uh, today, I wanted to cover... It's kind of a complex topic and a question I get asked a lot and I haven't really I've made videos surrounding the topic, but I have not really done a full tutorial about it. So this video, I want to talk about air rolling. Um, a lot of questions are around when should I start air rolling? How do you air roll when you're going for things like a, um, say an air dribble? So if I bring this up the wall, how am I air rolling the entire time when I'm going for air dribbles, things like that. And I'm going to try and just go from beginning to end how you learn this and um it might not be what it what do you expect um i know a lot of people just jump in and i want to air roll so i'm gonna throw air roll in and i'm just gonna teach off personal experience on how i learned to air roll so i'm gonna hop on into one of my favorite training packs so custom um aerial shots pass so you can see here here's the code and this is a great training pack uh i'm using baki's mod so i'm gonna make sure to turn it to uh very low variance that way because it can kind of screw up some of the shots but have this mindset first of going for a shot or I don't want to talk about air dribbles yet, but when you're going for a shot and you're just getting into aerials, completely ignore air roll. It is 100% possible to hit all of these shots without any air roll. And I'll show examples. Didn't air roll there. Let's go on to the next one. in an air roll there and so I did a whole um video I'm air rolling now sorry but I did a whole video where I went through the uh speed trials workshop maps and with the speed trial workshop maps I went through the entire um map without using air roll once and you may be asking well what does this matter and it's because it's like a prerequisite and just like many other mechanics, you need to learn how to do one thing before you do the next. I spent years trying to air dribble. I spent years trying to do like ceiling shots and flip resets, things like that. And believe it or not, my first like, I don't know, first six months of air dribbling, I air dribbled without using air roll once. All I knew how to do was go for a simple stiff looking uh, aerial. And what I mean by stiff looking is I'm not using air roll. So let's see if we can score this shot. This is one where air roll becomes kind of a good idea because it's hard to get an angle on a ball when you can't air roll for the direction you're trying to shoot in. So let's see, I'll give it one last attempt. No, one, one more attempt. I'm hitting it too far to the right. There we go. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's possible to hit these shots without air roll and that is where you need to start because so many people hop on in and they're already trying to air roll. What you need to do first is most definitely not that. <laughs> you need to um, 
you need to learn the basics first and by basics in this scenario i'm talking you want to learn how to air roll and if you're a more advanced air dribble without air roll or air aerial and air dribble without aerial and later down the line you will be more comfortable with using air roll in these situations and I know that sounds weird and it's it frustrates a lot of people but when I first started air dribbling my air dribbles look like this they were very bland uh, had no rotation in them and to be honest it was fine I mean it's hard for me now because my muscle memory is so locked in on air rolling but when you go for these shots you're basically learning the the way of air dribbling and the way of aerialing and later down the road what happens is with enough practice you start learning little bits of time where you can throw in an air roll so say i were to go for an air dribble and I want to get a low angle, so I'm going to hit it with the bottom of my car. You can see what I did was a last second air roll. And these are the things you're going to be starting with. You're going to be starting with like minor air roll adjustments at the end of your aerial to get a better shot, to get a better angle. And that's completely normal what these um what you're doing basically is getting yourself more comfortable with air roll as you go for shots like this so if you're going for air dribbles you're going for ceiling shots or aerials you can start incorporating say at the end there that's a perfect example and this is something i see all the time these people start off with a good solid air roll or air dribble sorry i'm gonna confuse those words so much but i started that off just a plain blank no air roll at the beginning but at the end at the end of the aerial that is where i was able to add a little bit of rotation in there so let's see if i can do one more so this one i'm air rolling all the way <laughs> it's Muscle memory is so hard when you're trying to uh, show from a more beginner standpoint. You can go for an air dribble and then at the end you can throw in those, um, those air rolls. So we've gone from kind of going from a simple air dribble to a simple aerial and then now we're incorporating the air roll towards the end of the shot or maybe um, if it's more comfortable for you and you follow my tutorial series doing that initial air roll that can help a lot it helps you ground yourself and have your wheels facing the ground but what comes with this is you having an understanding and capability of then um, air rolling more and incorporating more air roll into your game style and it's something i i really do wish i could explain and get engraved in your mind and i say this every video and i say this every single time i record a tutorial you can't just watch me play and listen to what i'm saying and go get it right away this is stuff that takes tons and tons of practice i spent literally a year learning how to air dribble without even using aerial or air roll and then after that um I slowly started doing what I've been saying where I would air dribble, but at the end of my air dribble, I would turn and 
make a slight rotation that way I got a better hit on the ball and these are things that over time you'll grow more comfortable instead of just at the end of your shot you'll be able to do things like air roll the entire time you're uh, in the air or I don't know it's <laughs> it's really up to your creativity and I've told people countless times because a lot of people are like well I want to make it look cool don't worry about how it looks if you can air dribble without using air roll do it and then further down the line you're going to you're gonna start incorporating this arrow left and right and that's something i highly encourage people to keep a mindset on is down the road this is a harder mechanic i get it's really hard to learn arrow left and right and especially learn arrow left and right like the way i have where i can do it throughout an entire air dribble and the reason I'm able to do that is because it's completely muscle memory at this point. I know if I hold Q and D for a certain amount of time, I know exactly where the nose of my car is going to be at all times. I throw in a little S, a little W, that way I can rotate up and down. And I, it's muscle memory to this point where I know how many spins I can make, when I need to readjust, things like that. And with practice and practice and practice, you'll get it down. Now to um, further help with people who are really determined on learning air roll. Uh, let me hop back into training actually. Something I really suggest you do. This is such an OG thing that I learned from Cronovi years ago. But if you want to learn how to air roll, simply jump and hover around the map and hold whatever arrow you're comfortable with. Arrow left, arrow light, arrow right. And what you're going to do is just hover around the map like this. You're going to go from big boost pad to big boost pad and just try and keep your distance in the air. And then without touching the ground, make these hard turns and start heading in the other direction. This will really challenge you and get you more comfortable with aerialing with aerial. Those words are just, they don't go well together. But simple things like this, I used to practice this daily. I would sit in training and I would just go around the map, aerialing and trying to stay above the ground. You can turn in little twists and stuff and try and recover. Anything like that is practice and it will help you learn and get an understanding for how to better air roll. And like I said, you can you can throw in tornado aerials. You can throw in just regular um, regular air roll left, things like that. You can work on some recoveries, like stop boosting for a second and try and regain control of your car. And this all, it seems like it's not going to do much for you, but I promise you it definitely does. And to branch off that, um, outside of training, there are workshop maps that I always, always, always am telling people you should try. Um, I did the speed jump trials. Those were good, but the Lethemir ring map. I can find it. Um, oh, that's the first one. So this Lethemir's ring map, let me show you. If you want to, you can completely go through this map without air roll. And I'll show that right now. So I'm not using any air roll. And this is just a common misconception misconception is that you need air roll and you really don't. Air roll is something that comes down the line further. It's something that 
makes you have some style in your aerials but at the end of the day you can do so many things without aerial than you would imagine so now let's switch over to some training if we wanted to do aerial so how you can try and hold q the whole time or go for some tornado spins things like that and just work your way through this workshop map while rotating and it may sound stupid but this is actually going to help you become more comfortable with arrow left and right because i remember when i was learning arrow left and right i just could not get through these maps but now that um I have practiced it for so long. I'm so comfortable with my muscle memory and how to do these. And so <clears throat> I don't want to drag this video on. I'll probably end it in a second here. But I hope the takeaway from this is that air rolling is definitely something that comes later on. Please focus on your normal air dribbles, your normal aerials and then slowly start incorporating that last second air roll to get a better angle or shot and then from there start working on trying to incorporate air roll into things like your um your air dribbles your aerials and by doing these workshop maps you'll start gaining muscle memory and learning how to do that. So I'm going to end the video off here. I know it may not be the most helpful, but this is something I tell people all the time. I get DMs all the time and messages, comments. People are always wanting me to tell them how I'm able to air dribble with Q and E or how I'm able to rotate while aerialing and I wish I really wish I could just transfer my knowledge to you but this is a game that just requires you to learn on your own I can only give you so much advice so much tips on how you can go about learning these things and from my experience, these are, in fact, probably the best methods on how you can get better at this. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, I hope you guys learned at least something. If you did, feel free to leave the video a like. If you like my content and want to see more like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please join the Discord. I try to be as active as I can in answering questions. And <clears throat> if you want to leave a YouTube comments and suggest more uh, mechanics or things I can do a tutorial on, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Um, I do want to say i'm probably not going to do a tutorial on kickoffs that is one of the other most requested things but um take it from squishy squishy said himself he's not that good at kickoffs and he's not going to do a kickoff tutorial i am really bad at kickoffs if squishy thinks he's bad i am most definitely terrible at kickoffs so i hope you guys learned something I'll catch you guys in the next video and uh, peace out.